Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be teaching you how to draft a basic hand trouser. Like how to draft a straight hand trouser. So, we'll be needing a measurement, of course. Our cork ruler, our first type ruler, and our straight ruler with straight lines, my paper scissors, and of course, my tape measure. So, let's begin. So, to start with, I'll be showing you my measurements. I have my waist extruded and divided by 4. That's 8. Then, my hip is 39 inches and divided by 4. That's 9.75. I have my waist to hip. That's 9. And then cross depth 10 inches. My tie measurement that's divided by two. One single tie divided by two. That's two. My round nail measurement that's 16 divided by two. That gives me eight. And then my waist to nail measurement that's 21. My round ankle measurement that's 13 divided by two. That's six point five. And then my full length which was 39 inches plus two inches folding allowance. So in all of these measurements, I'll be taking one inch out because I'll be adding a band. And so guys, I have my paper just laid out like this. I'll be cutting one piece from this paper. So when I want to cut on my fabric, I'll just like fold my fabric into then cut two two pieces. That is two pieces for the front and then two pieces for the back, the right and the left piece. That makes it two two pieces for the front and the back. So I'll be marking half inch at this side, which is how I like sewing allowance when I want to cut out on my fabric. So I'll mark half inch from here. Like this. This is just my sewing allowance. If you'll be adding your sewing allowance on your fabric, you don't need to do this. But for me, I prefer to add everything here. Then I'll connect the lines. Gently connect the lines. After doing so, I'll be marking out my measurement. I'll mark my full length here, like this. Remember, my full length is 39 inches plus 2 inches, that's 41 inches. So I'll deduct one from it, like this, because we'll be adding a band at the upper part of our trousers. So I'll deduct one, then mark every other measurement. So I'll mark my full, full length, which is 39, like this. And then I'll mark the 2 inches allowance, like this, that's 41. And then I'm going to mark my waist to hip measurement, which is 9 inches. I'll mark the 9 here. And then I'll mark my crotch depth, which is 10 inches. I'll mark the 10 here. And then my waist to knee measurement, which is 21 inches. I'll mark the 21 inches like this. I'll come here and do the same thing so that I'll be able to connect the lines. Here I'll be having 9 my waist to hip. Then here I'll be having 10 my crotch depth. And here I'll be having 21 inches my waist to knee. And then my full length, which is 41 inches. So after doing that, we are going to mark out our trouser block. For our trouser block, we are simply going to divide our hip by 4 inches. So if you are going to, if your hip is 40, you are going to divide 40 by 4. That gives you 10. Then you are going to mark out that 10 as your trouser block. So for me, my hip is 39 inches. I'll be marking out 9.75, which is 39 divided by 4. So I'm marking out from this half inch, not behind this, from this half inch that we mark. I really hope you understand. From this half inch that we mark, you are going to mark 9.75 here. Like this, I'll come here and do the same thing. Please, it is after the half inch. I'll mark the same thing like this. Come here and do the same. Then I'll do the same thing down here as well. Then I'll connect. Connect those as well. Connect here. Connect down here. Like this. So after doing so, we'll come here and then straighten out our lines. The measurements we took earlier. We'll make a straight line across them like this. Then we'll come here to our cross depth line as well and mark out our measurement. Just like this. So we'll come to our waist to nail and mark out our measurements. Then come to our full length and do the same thing. Like this. After doing so, we are simply going to be dividing our measurements. Then I'll come to my waistline and I'll measure out my waist divided by 4. That gives me 8. So I'm dividing my measurements by 4. I have 32 divided by 4. That gives me 
8 inches. But before I mark the 8 inches, I'll come here and mark out half inch like this. So from this half, we are going to measure our measurement. We are going to take the 8 inches like this. This the half inch that we mark is simply to just make sure that we have a firmer waist and we don't have any body effect at the front of our trouser. So I'll mark 8 inches. Then I'll come down here. We have our hips. If uh, if measurement divided by four already, that that's nine point seven five. Remember thirty nine divided by four, that's nine point seven five. So we have this count already. So we'll come here, one inch below our crotch depth line, and then mark out our thigh measurement. My thigh measurement is twenty four divided by two. Remember we have to divide our thigh measurements. So it is going to be divided by two, not divided by four. We are dividing hips and waist measurement because we have them round our body. But for this thigh, it is separate. So we are simply going to be dividing our thigh measurements by two inches, and that gives me twelve. So I'll mark the 12 here, just one inch like this. You can just mark out the one inch and come here to and mark out here. So I'll simply mark out my 12 inches. Remember, this is also from this half inch that we marked there. So I'll mark my 12 like this and then make a simple straight line like this. And then I'll just bring out my cross depth measurements and I'll join like this. So guys, we are going to be creating our midpoint for the trouser, that's a plumb line or the grease line. Then we are simply going to be using our time measurement divided by 2. The same 12 inches we use here, we are going to bring down here, bring it down here and then look for the midpoint. So 12 divided by 2, we have 6 inches. So we mark the 6 inches here. Come here and do the same thing. The midpoint of 12 and 6 inches, we are going to mark it. We'll bring it down here as well and mark 6 inches down to our full length, like this. We mark 6 inches and then we are going to connect this line, like this. Come here and connect this as well. And then we have our plumb line of this line ready. So guys, after getting our time measurements, we we'll simply be putting every other measurement into this. So I'll start with my round name measurement. For my rounding measurements, I have my measurement to be 16 divided by 2 as 8 inches. So for the 8 inches, I'll divide the 8 inches once again. That's 4 inches. So I'll be placing my four on my plumb line like this. We are going to be placing the four here. Then I'll mark four at this right side like this. Then I'll mark the remaining four. That's on eight. Like this. Then I'm going to come down here as well. At my full length here. I'll mark my round knee measurements. My round ankle measurement, sorry, which is 14 inches. I'll divide my 14 into two. That's seven inches. Then I'll divide my seven again. That's 3.5. So I'll simply put my 3.5. At this point, sorry, I'll simply put my 3.5 at this point. I really want you to see this. I'll put my 3.5 here like this, and then I'll mark here, then mark the remaining 3.5 on the 7 inches. So we have we have already marked this house. So guys, after marking out, we are simply going to connect the lines. We are going to connect the dots that we marked out. So we'll start from our waist. I will connect from this waist point to my hip measurements here, like this. I'll bring it down here, and then connect. Then I'll come to this point here and connect. I'll take the line to meet my hip measurement like this. Then I'll come down here as well and then take the line to meet my landing measurement here like this. Then I'll come to this other side as well and connect my lines from this point down here. Carefully connect the line. Then I'll change this other side and make a slight cut at this point, upper point here, like this. You should not have this line straight at this point. And I'll simply connect like this. You can see our trouser is about to be ready. So at this point here, I'm going to measure out half inch as our guideline to connect our core to the upper part here. So I'll simply bring the line like this. Then I'm going to use this to connect to this our trouser block here, and then I'll mark here just like this. So we have this place. Just have to readjust so I can see. So guys, after doing all of this, we have our trouser ready. But before we cut out, please ensure that at this down part here where we are going to be 
and maybe you are going to be folding as your hem allowance. Ensure it is very equal to the actual measurement of your trouser. Ensure that the allowance you leave behind, you leave at the bottom here. If it is 2 inches, 1 inches, ensure that it is equal to your true allowance where you be folding to. So that you don't have um, cases of your trouser being narrow and then it will not look fine and all of that. So we are just going to label out so that when we are cutting out, we are simply going to be we are simply going to notch and then we have our lines and lines. So these are our nail lengths. We have our crotch depth here. Yeah. Then we have our hip line and these upper parts here. Yeah. Hip line. We have our waist line here. Yeah. And then our full length here. Yeah. So we are just going to cut this out now and then we move to the back pattern. So we are simply going to cut out. Luckily for me, I have the down part equal to bear before this so it's quite easy like that. So I just cut out to this one. It's a very careful way of cutting out. I have to do this the line. So continue like this. And then on this place, you are going to be adding half inch allowance, or you simply cut out the exact measurement, then you add your allowance on your while cutting out, placing your paper on it, so I'll just be using half inch allowance at this point, like this. Remember, we already have our half inch at this deep line, so we are simply going to cut the exact thing we have on the hip, like this. Then we bring this here, and just cut out, like this. Then we'll come here and trace out. Please be very careful at this point so that you are not going to destroy your pattern so you come here and you cut out this leather so yeah we have our fronts but it's ready so we're going to the back piece now and then we drop our back piece as well so guys for our back piece I have my paper here already and then I place some objects on it so that it won't be shifting and disrupt my measurement so at this our crotch depth measurements I measure out three inches here like this Measure out three inches. You can increase it if you have a bigger, but for me, three inches should be okay. And then I'll simply come to my name measurements here and measure out two inches like this. I'll measure two inches here. Come to this down, down part as well and measure two inches. And then come to this other side here as well and measure two inches. And then down to my full length measurement, I'll measure two inches as well. After doing so, I'll come here at my hip line measurements and measure two inches as well. I'll bring it up and measure two inches and then at this upper part here this upper part of our trouser i will measure in one and a half inch inches so that i will now have my back side showing so that when i bend i'll be able to bend properly without the fear of my back side opening so i'll measure out one and a half inches here like this and i'm going to connect my lines so from this point you have a straight line from this down part you have a straight line to connect like this up here and then connect to this place as well. So from our new line measurement, we are simply going to be using our cuff size of the ruler and then connect like so. So at this point, I will come out by half inch. I'll come down by half inch, sorry. At this point here, I'll come down by half inch like this and then connect to the upper part of my shoulder like this you can simply use your hand make sure you have the cup ruler at this point like this and i'll just connect and i'll bring the line here Like this. So after connecting all of these lines, we we'll come to where we measure how one and a half inch at the upper part and connect to the edge of our front piece like this. And then we have our back body ready as well. We have our back pieces of our trouser ready as well. Then we are just going to cut out. Can you remember that you are going to be connecting this line to the half inch that we measured? Quite earlier, we are going to be measuring half inch down here. And this is our back piece. Then you are going to simply be connecting your lines to the point where you mark the half inch down. Then you connect and bring it up here, like this. So you are just going to cut out now. 
you are going to trace out now. Remember, we do not have any allowance at this back side because we already had it half inch at the front piece. So it covers the for both. But for the inseam, we had it our inches, like I showed you. We just need to trace out our measurements now. So I'm just going to start from this one. Remember, we are cutting on the four side, so we cut the side to the four and four. This can be placed on your desk for your paper while cutting, so like two sheets. Then trace out the upper parts like so. Then here we go. We have both front and the back ready. Here we have our front and our back piece ready. So if you watch this point, kindly subscribe to my channel and then in the next video I'll be showing you how to cut this on our fabric. This is this part, that part of the so this is our front piece. Front and then we have our back piece. We are going to be using that on this. You can simply measure quarter of an inch here and then you use your length you want to use at this point here. Thank you so much for staying here. You have a fabulous way. I'll see you in our next video. Bye.